We're back with you here on tip off. And before I turn things over to Larry Kelly, final score from class 2A boys action tonight, Sarah Catholic 61, Shenango 54, regulation periods. Again, Sarah Catholic 61, Shenango 54 in regulation periods. Larry Kelly, the Red Hurricane Report is all yours. Yeah, yeah, uh, you know, look, we're playing some of our best basketball of the season. And so if you're going to beat the Red Hurricane, you better have your big boy pants on because all facets of the game, uh, we're playing well. You know, and when you get to playoff time, uh, you know, the focus becomes a little keener. Uh, Coach Belando talking to the team, you know, before the game against West Mifflin. I'm in the locker room, and, you know, when he talks, I, I kind of look in, into the eyes of the players, and I could see these guys are laser-focused on him. They're locked in because they know, you know, one more – if you lose a game, the season's over. You turn in your uniform, you pack your bags, and nobody in that locker room wants to pack their bags at this point of the season. And uh, you could just tell before the game that they were locked in and ready to go. And we came out and we started fast. Uh, you know, we're shooting the ball extremely well. But more importantly, uh, we're defending probably as well now as we have been all season. You know, uh, if anybody watched the game against West Mifflin, you know, our full court pressure was as good as it's been all season created turnovers, which allowed us to score off our defense, which has kind of been our staple for years. You know, we've always been able to create points from our defensive pressure, and we did that exceedingly well uh, against West Mifflin. Uh, we're rebounding the ball, you know, before every game. Coach Belando says no mixed box, out, box outs. If you get your hands on it, it's our ball, and, and that's what's happening here. We're not missing box outs, you know. Uh, those 50-50 balls, we're winning them all. Uh, we're not turning the ball over and creating turnovers, you know, uh, from our defense. So everything is clicking, Ronnie. Everything is clicking right now. And, uh, you know, it's been, it's been like this probably for the last four or five games, especially, uh, you know, the game we played at Chartiers Valley. It's a tough place to win on the road, and we dominated the game. We came out quick. Uh, you know, the game against West Mifflin, West Mifflin, same way, dominated the game, came out quick. Kids come out ready to play. And uh, I expect that to be the case moving forward. You know, we have Shaler at home on Thursday. And I expect, uh, truth be told, the same result. Take, take us inside, uh, inside the field house, Larry. Uh, it is now the playoffs. You've had a full season. It's, uh, let's speak uh, in terms of practice. Tell me what uh, Ralph Blundo is like at a practice on a Tuesday in February in the postseason compared to a Tuesday, uh, possibly first or second week of December. Uh, how he handles practice, what you hear or see from uh, Coach Blundo. Now. You know, really, really, Ronnie, it, it, our practices are always – pretty intense and high spirited that doesn't change from week to week it doesn't what i see happening is that you know the focus of our players becomes more laser like as the season goes along they're really locked in to what he has to say you know after the game last night he went home and watched the tape along with jason dunalak billy humphrey you know of the shaler game against south fayette Today at practice, we are locked in on what those teams, what Shaler does and what they do well so that we're prepared for it. There will be no surprises for our team. And, you know, sometimes during the season, uh, the team's mind can wander a little bit. But these guys know what's at stake. They know what's expected. You know, that's a mark of a great team. You're laser focused. You're just this time of year, you are laser focused. And that's where we are. Everybody on that floor is laser focused. It's business-like and it's spirited. And uh, so I don't think there's much difference in the practice. You know, what the coaches bring every, every practice is pretty much the same. 
And I think the intensity is pretty much the same. But what I see is that the, the players knowing what's at stake here, they're locked in. They're, they're, they're more focused at this time of year than maybe they are in December and early January. Uh, last night, uh, checking out different streams of uh, playoff games, I landed on uh, just to see what the final was or, or try to catch the last moments of it. The Shaler uh, South Fayette game was just finishing up and they were interviewing the Shaler coach uh, post game and they, they asked him about uh, Newcastle. And he mentioned uh, that they played Newcastle early in the season, third game of the season, probably for both teams. I think it was for Newcastle for sure. Uh, if memory serves me, it was like 66-53, 65-53, something like that. So it wasn't a, a total runaway, a total whitewash as, as a lot of Newcastle's wins are, like 85-52, I think, the other night against West Mifflin. But he said that's why we scheduled that game. We wanted to see how we stacked up against Newcastle. We wanted to play good competition, you know. So he feels that that, that game is going to help uh, Newcastle. The question to you, Larry, is – how how will this game help uh, either either team? Because teams evolve from you know certainly December to February. I'm sure Newcastle is a is a hell of a lot different than they were in December, and Shaler probably is the same way also. Um, you know the mark of a good team, uh, a championship team, and a good coach is that as the year goes on, their team gets better, and we've gotten better. We're not the same team we were in December, not even close. As I said, you know, I, I believe we're shooting the ball better. I believe that we're defending better. You know, I believe that we're rebounding the ball better. So, uh, you know, it, it's important that you continue to build week after week. And nobody is better at that than Coach Belando. And he knows how to build a team, a championship team. We talk about it all the time, Ronnie. There's a difference between intensity and championship intensity. There's a difference between focus and championship focus. And Ruff Blondo knows how to build championship intensity and championship focus. And our players, they get it. They've been there. They've seen the movie. They know what it looks like. You know, the people that have left our program have left a mark. Last year, Sheldon Cox, Donnie Cade, th these young men who are now sitting in those positions have watched what that looks like. And uh, they're ready to replicate it and move forward. So, you know, uh, we're playing at home. Shaler's a good team, but the Hurricane will be ready and, you know, we'll be playing our best game. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Anything, uh, anything else, Larry, that you, uh, that you would like to say? Uh, well, actually, before I, before you say anything, Larry, do you have anything else? Uh, uh, actually. Do I have anything else on the hurricane report? Yeah. No, I don't. Other mm -hmm. than we're ready and we're playing our best basketball of the year and the kids are ready. As I said, when I looked into their eyes, when coach Belando's talking, you know, I, he's, he's obviously pointing out things on the, uh, on the whiteboard, but I'm not kind of watching that. I know already what he's going to say. I'm looking at the kids. I'm looking in their eyes. I want to see if they're locked in. And I knew, I knew before we took the court, these kids were just locked in. They were laser focused. So I expect the same thing on Thursday. One question I want to ask you, Larry, I, I asked Ralph this uh, probably a day or two after the, after the bracket came out. Uh, have you had a chance to sit down and look at the bracket? Uh, maybe not so much to see if you win this game, you play. Have you looked at, at over here, over here, over here, you know, all, all over the bracket just to get a look at it? And he said, Ron, if anybody is looking at a bracket to, to look down the road or possible matchups a week from now or a game from now, those are the type of teams that are turning their jerseys in uh, the day after the game. Our focus right now is is on West Mifflin, and it's solely on West Mifflin. We are not looking ahead to, to who we could possibly be playing in the next round or anything like that. So, uh, so that's Ralph's stance. Um, when you got the bracket, were you looking at it and saying, 
okay, we've, we're going to have a rematch one way or another. It's either going to be Shaler or South Fayette, which, we, which you guys beat in uh, league play. Um, did you look at it that way? And if you did, who did you think you would be playing? Well, first of all, it's survive in advance. To quote my friend Jimmy Valvano, not my friend, but a, a great <laughs> basketball coach, I, a guy that I try to emulate, as you know, in some of the things that I do in my coaching style, uh, it's survive in advance. So nobody's looking at the very next game, and, and Ralph's correct on that. Now, mm -hmm. truth be told, you know, uh, South Fed is very familiar with us, and you know, they, their offensive execution is pretty good. And so, you know, it, it, I'm not so sure anybody wants to play the same team three times in a row. Uh, you know, that's a, tough, that's a tough sled. But at the same time, Shaler's an excellent team, and we really didn't care who we played. We just wanted to take care of our business, and that would be West Mifflin. Speaking, you know, as a varsity coach, when I was coaching Shenango, when we made our run to the Whitfield Championship, I didn't even know who was on the other side of the bracket. I didn't even pay attention to that. You know, I just was looking at who do we have now? And if we won, who do we have next? And, uh, you know, I think Ruff does it the same way. And, you know, it's part of the focus. You can't allow your focus to be diluted by worrying about who you may play two games from now. Mm -hmm. So leave it to the media to look ahead and, and we'll, we'll take care of that aspect for it. Right. I guess I'm part of that media now. There you go. There you go. You are. So, so you get to look ahead, too. We'll put you in that, uh, th that category. When I became an attorney, I chose to stay here because my friends and neighbors needed a lawyer they can count on. I believe that if you're hurt on the job, you shouldn't have to go it alone, especially if your employer or the insurance company tries to bully you. You can count on me to get you the workers' compensation benefits that you deserve. Even if it gets rough, I'm not going anywhere. I'll stand my ground right here where I've always been. I'm Larry Kelly, and I'm a Newcastle.